Good morning everyone, happy Monday and welcome to another week of crafty fun here at Humpy Dory TV. We have got some great launches um, coming up for you this week, starting with a fantastic new concept card this morning. But before we get to it, my name is Natalie, I'm going to be the host for the hour. Gemma is running the show over in the production area. Good morning Gemma. It's Emily. Gemma, it's Emily. Oh my god, that's really mean isn't it? I thought it's the start of a new week. I was supposed to be, I was doing really well until then. You should have just run with it. Why did we not run with it? Good morning, Emily. How are you? Good morning. She's just laughing away in the corner to herself there. And over in the demonstration station, it's Kat. I'm joking. Oh, I was it's going to say, I was like, oh, what, what am I going to be today? <laughs> yeah. It's Becca. It is, it is. I'm so excited for this show. It's going to be a good show. Yeah. Um, before we get to it, though, lovely Dan is here um, just to, to give us a few words. Good morning, Dan. Good morning, Natalie. Uh, and thank you very much. Um, morning, everybody. I'd like to take the opportunity to um, make an apology uh, for a question that was asked on our spin the wheel section of our show. Uh, last Friday on the Thankcraft It's Friday show. Upon reflection, the question that we asked was ill-considered and it was a poor choice. 
Um, I'd like to assure you that no malice was intended uh, by the question that was asked, but it was thoughtless, it was careless. Um, I'd like to make an apology to Hillary and to her husband Phil and to anybody else who could have been um, uh, concerned about the question that was asked or felt offended. Um, we will be more careful with the questions that we ask mm -hmm. in future. Uh, thank you very much and uh, please enjoy your show. Yes, Thanks let's get to it. Um, let's start with our Win It Weekly question. It's a good one this week. We've got four winners this week, but that's because this prize is ginormous. It is our On The Move Decollage Collection. It's an absolute whopper. It includes 24 decollage sets. It features a most incredible selection of planes, trains, and automobiles, and there is something for everyone in here. We've got ships, we've got tractors, we've got um, motorbikes, there's um, big sort of American trucks, we've got really cool um, trams in here, everything that you can think of. This week's question is as follows. You need to like, share, and comment to be in with a chance of winning. Which country has the most islands in the world? Ooh, this is a crazy one, isn't it? Which country has the most islands in the world? A, Japan, B, the Maldives, or C, Sweden? Now. Nice. Mm. I feel like Becca knows this because she's very well travelled. I, yeah, I, I think I might. I'm saying nothing, I'm saying nothing. But A, B or C for your chance to win this incredible product. Okay, let's get to it and have a look at this fantastic new concept card. You absolutely loved our festive archway collection, so much so that it has been reprinted. So what we've done is we have re-envisaged this concept card and brought you the beautiful floral archway. In this collection, you're going to be able to make 12 of these beautiful concept cards featuring four beautiful designs, which we can see here straight away. They are um, printed on both the front and the back, so your finish is absolutely exceptional. Look at the foiling detail Ooh. that you've got on those panels. It is absolutely delightful. We've also got um, sentiments on here. We've got accent foiling within those beautiful flowers. Um, it's just absolutely gorgeous. So that is our blushing blooms. Then we have for you, oh, should we show you how it looks made up as well? So oh, you can yeah. Get the true beauty of this you have that beautiful acetate within the center you've got the, that layering element there on the middle and then you've obviously got your um, sentiment all finished with a beautiful space for you to write your gorgeous message on the back so that is your first of four designs then we're going to give you your purple posy um, so in this one you have the beautiful lilacs the really nice mauve colors within here silver foiling on this one um, as well so a gorgeous um, selection really to be able to make this card up and then there you are seeing that in all its glory the beauty of this as well is that they fold perfectly onto each other to fit inside a six by six so if you're wanting to post these gorgeous concept cards you know that you absolutely can with no trouble at all then we have for you our um, blue blossom this one's really really sweet i love the florals that have been put in here because they're all so different you have these sort of put together posies then you have yeah. really large blooms all of them are really really different in the design um, and our fourth one for you is our peachy palette um, in this one we have the gorgeous sort of orange tones um, within here with those beautiful delicate um, pink shades as well absolutely stunning with that one you're then going to receive your die cut acetate which um, is perfectly sized to fit in the center of these concept cards 
and look how beautiful they are i mean we have um one of each made up as it should be as we always do to show you how you're going to be able to make them up at home because and each of these are all really different as well because um on this one we've got everything laid up in the center panel on this one here we've used it um, and we've added each one on sort of like smaller levels of foam pads and you've got your sentiment down the side as well on this one here we've actually put the archway in the middle section and then your decoupage on the back so there's lots of different ways in which we can make these up um, and they look absolutely stunning no matter how you do it but there's also some really fun ways in which we can make up these concept cards too uh, we can sort of cut into them and make easels with the, the designs that we get and that is just simply um, taking those corner pieces off um, and I've actually used these um, to create the back panel here so you can see that everything is stuck down beautifully. The amazing Jane, I don't know how she does it, has made a gorgeous box um, with the detail in box. here. It's incredible, isn't wow. it? Wow. She's so clever with things like this. It's absolutely stunning and it just looks so well. Um, she's used some papers from our most recent floral kit as well, those edge to edge florals, which just match that gorgeously. And then if you want to, you can chop into it again and make even larger cards with this. So whether you're gonna make them as they are and they are truly stunning in those archway um, concept card kits or if you're going to cut into it and make different types of cards they are absolutely beautiful you do get um, included all the envelopes to go with your 12 designs and we're also going to give you the full um, photographic and written instructions on how you make these up but if you're watching right now stay tuned make sure you're putting the time of this video um, in your little booklets for when you're wanting to make these up because Becca is going to show us exactly how we put them together. Yeah, I'm so excited. I absolutely love these. I just love how easy our concept cards are to make. You can put them together in absolute minutes. Like you say, Nat, you can personalise them depending on where you put your sentiments and yep. your extra pieces. Um, so yeah, we're going to get everything out. We're going to go with this peachy petals because I just absolutely love it. Um, it's got this beautiful, like dahlias are some of my favourite flowers. So we had to go with this one. And I just absolutely love the colours for that late springtime, early summertime feel. So what we're going to do, um, I've got the instructions right here, just in case we need them. But they are super, super easy to put together. So I'm going to, um, first of all, take my two large pieces out of the sheet. Now it's all foiled and die cut for you, so you can just pop them straight out, straight away. Super, super easy. Just going round those and grabbing those pieces out of the sheet. And then we're just going to take the time to just pop out our... Um, our topper and its frame just nice and gently you can use some scissors if you want um, an even more sort of like kind of gentle hand we're going to keep this middle frame so we're going to go in with our scissors for that just to make that really nice and gently pop out for us um, they're all held together in place with these little pips so we're just going to trim those out and I think we're just going to go kind of round again just for that little bit more of a, a kind of polished kind of feel. I'm just going to go round and trim off any of the pips that are looking a little bit proud. Obviously they're there so it's really nice and secure in the sheet. Um, but obviously you're just going to want to just quickly trim those out. So we've got our two pieces together so we can kind of start building this up. So... Um, the next thing is to, and we're going to turn this one round and have that that way and then our foiling details on the back so that when you look at the message you've got that space and that foiling on there as well. So we're going to take our foam pads and our glue as well. We're going to pop out our acetate from the sheet. Again, this is a little bit um, nice and secure so you just want to just nicely pop those out of the sheet just need one it's incredible that the machines out there can die cut the acetate so so well so well aren't they yeah they're absolutely wonderful okay so we're going to build up our layers on here so we're going to build up our layers um you can either like i say go straight onto there and build the layers up that way but i think we're going to pop them on the acetate because i think they just look so beautiful on there so i'm going to go with some skinny foam pad strips and we're going to put this um, middle frame on first. So I'm just going to meander that kind of just around here, just like so. And we'll get one more to finish that other half of the frame off. 
so again just nice and tightly going around those corners making sure everything's all tucked in it's such a beautiful concept card kit i think it it has a real sort of classic style toward to it like within it and i think it's such a beautiful way of sort of sending um a message oh definitely but it's also like something that you can keep out for quite a long time as well yeah i think so and then i'm just going to just start popping my card together so we're just going to kind of like mount in and valley fold these oh the other way becca this way yeah and then this way there we go there we go yeah perfect so that's going to sit on there and then that's going to sort of sit on there so i'm going to just pop my frame on now um and then these obviously we're going to do the opposite way for those perfect so everything should sit just like so and then we're going to stick that together and then that's going to trap our acetate piece in so we're sort of going to pop that just on these corners here so i'm just going to sort of rest that in place pop my kind of middle frame just sort of nice and centrally just in there and you wanted to make it. sure that it was like super super precise as well before you sort of um score your elements you can lie it oh like lie it flat oh yeah definitely um you can absolutely or you could just get your you know stick everything together and then pop your toppers yeah. on that'd be absolutely fine so i'm just going to go in with my flowers onto the back of here um, obviously it just depends on what look you want whether you want that on the acetate so i'm going to go in with those and then i'm going to pop out these two pieces of pyramage here and these are just so nice they're just going to give you that extra little bit of dimension so i'm going to go in with again some foam pads to lift that off with that nice bit of height so i'm just going to go in with like sort of three of my little foam pad squares on here just to give that a nice bit of coverage not coming off my sheet today here more sticky they are a little bit just a little bit sticky so perfect so we're going to pop those onto our next layer so again you can just line that up nice and centrally you can kind of see where those petals are to line them up which is just sort of centrally there and then our last bit again we're just going to go in with a skinny foam pad strip all the way along there perfect size to just fit in that space isn't it oh yeah nice and snug absolutely yeah it's absolutely perfect but it still gives you that really nice good coverage so the next thing we're going to do is stick our acetate panel on and our frame so again we're just going to sort of line that up kind of centrally in there getting that rose petal and that dahlia center in there like so so that's perfect um so i'm actually going to stick this on with our red high tack tape so i've got a brand new roll here um just perfect for any of your construction projects it's perfect for grabbing acetate it's got that really nice kind of instant um sort of grab and hold so i'm just going to pop one piece just on here you just know that when you're using this that it's not going to be an issue with um falling apart in the post it's going to hold really really well oh definitely it's just going to grab all those layers wonderfully and especially like you say when you're using acetate and you've got sort of like three dimensional pieces you, it's just it takes all of the trouble away of having to make sure that things are straight um if you're using construction glue that um you know it doesn't move in the time that you've done this yeah absolutely i just enjoy using the high tack tape so much more and the the way that the um archway has been designed it has little um, yeah you've got a little tab of, here a little tab so you know exactly where you need to line it up to to get a perfect sort of fit on there absolutely and then we can put our frame on there now see so i feel much more comfortable now that's on and then we're just going to stick these down again and we we'll get again we're just going to go with our high tack tape if you want to swap to your double sided at this point it probably doesn't really matter you probably can do because you've already grabbed that acetate on the back so we're just going to put two little um thin pieces on each of my tabs just to stick them down in place and then this is going to be where we can finish this card we can decorate with those extra sentiments because i mean it looks wonderful just as it is but we've given you even more to make them look again really positive polished really professional and at absolutely like sort of no extra cost that it's just space on the sheet that would have just been plain anyway so we yeah. thought you know what why not squeeze some extra sentiments for you guys and it just looks beautiful from every single angle so i'm just going to take my tape off these pieces here and every single one is different as well on the on the um blushing blooms you've got um all my love especially for you 
a note to say thinking of you you've got happy birthday um you are oh so wonderful um on your blue blossoms and then the one that you've got becca yeah you have a choice of on your special day or thank you i know it isn't that gorgeous i mean thank you i absolutely love that one i'm gonna go with that actually and i'm just gonna pop that in fact i don't even know i might pop that at the bottom there how nice would this be as a thank you teacher oh that would be very very because good actually i think I like children that. you know with a little bit of help can probably oh, make these you could make these with the kids and you're going to be like student of the year aren't you if you send this to your teacher 100%. um they're absolutely beautiful it's going to look so good on like a teacher's desk i'd be definitely grabbing this one oh, for that's really why our concept cards are so perfect because no matter what age you are, no matter what your skill set is in regards to card making, um, these concept cards are really designed for everyone to be able to do. I think so, absolutely. Perfect for beginners. And such a um, great price as well, $14.99 to get your hands on this today. Absolutely. So we're going to pop this button on. I'm going to go in with a circular foam pad just on there. I'm going to put it straight on and then I know that it's been covered and it's not going to stick out of anywhere looking unsightly and we're going to just pop that there obviously if you want to embellish that further with some gemstones or some ribbon you absolutely can do but that is all done for you made in absolutely minutes oh, it looks so nice i just love the depth that you get on there that that gorgeous window that just invites you to look through to those flowers and again just looking so beautiful on the back for your message as well so many people coming in to say absolutely beautiful card designs and lots of people are already putting these in their baskets i'm not surprised i can't I, you just you just have to they you are really absolutely do beautiful designs the archway just makes it so stunning you have that beautiful acetate which gives you a gorgeous three-dimensional look it is truly 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 beautiful i just love them now something else that we also have available on the website today um, is our shape car blanks now you absolutely love these shape car blanks so much so that our megabyte has actually sold out um, and is not coming back in stock however if you want to buy them all individually then we have that for you um, so you can now buy individual packs of our fancy um, fold shape card blanks they include five each of the card blank and the coordinating envelope they're just £3.99 each or you can buy three and get one for free they are these beautiful folded shapes that we have for you here um, and just look at these designs I mean you can just simply press that together and fold it through and you've got that gorgeous detail within that one so this is um, your fancy fold back that you can um, create we've obviously got the um, scalloped gatefold edge which is a beautiful design again and works so well with these images that one is a four by six then we have the twisted um, the oh, what would you call it's this like one a swing, swing card there you go the swing card five by five and that phenomenal um, detailing within there you can mat and layer these with anything from your duo design paper pads um, to your matastic to your dies to your stamps they are just absolutely stunning to be able to create really fun cards for you we've got that beautiful um, diamond fold I absolutely love this one. Oh, that's fabulous it just looks incredible doesn't it and one as well which you can actually use the other way around and looks just as fun um, revealing sort of like a center to your card and then we have the most phenomenal six by six step card which you can just mount in a valley fold all of those steps to reveal that gorgeous dimension within your card all of these including ones that we haven't shown you are all available <coughs> now on the website so have a look at our um, website today because you can buy them all individually which is perfect if you just want to get um, one or two of those designs and you don't want to have the whole mix of them or maybe you've already bought our mega buy you've had a go at them and you know which ones you already absolutely love then that's fine because we've got so much to choose from okay next up have you seen our most amazing dies and stamps that we have for you to celebrate the um, coronation of king charles they are absolutely incredible starting off with this absolute beauty is just three pounds 49 no matter if you're a club member whether you're a diamond member whether you don't have an account yet three pounds wow. 49 for this die set you get the crown 
you get the um, princess, you've got the king, you've got the queen. We can also snip off the um, S's to create prince here as well. You've got for the day, but there is so much detail in this die. This die set alone should be I don't even think it should be six pounds. I think it should be way more than I six I think pounds. so. I mean, I wouldn't begrudge paying nearly a tenner for that. No, I was thinking that with everything that you get in there. It's phenomenal. Whether you're using it to celebrate um, the coronation or whether you're using it just to have around in your stash for birthdays, for anniversaries, um, for any of those happy occasions that you can be sending this for. It's just a great thing to have around and it looks phenomenal on your cards as well. Two absolutely beautiful examples that Stacey created um, with this one. So you have King for the day, you have Princess for the day and we were talking about cutting this out using our stickables collection and just making um, crown shaped stickers for the kids. Oh that would be so awesome. They would absolutely love them. Next up for you we have and I'm I'm so happy that we have this. We have our colour, your colouring bunting. So it's Colour Reunion Jack stamp set. These work in exactly the same way as your layering stamps do. So you can see here the stamp design that is going to go onto your card. So you can use um, the colours that are listed on the back. So you can use the royal blue for this one. You can use the letterbox red for this one. And then for your detailed edged stamp, you can use our um, charcoal. Um, or our um, darker colour to create silhouette stamps which easily colour in straight away. We've also got the balloons, let's celebrate, you're the greatest on there as well. This should be £9. Every day of the week an A5 stamp set is £9 but not this week. You're paying £4.99 for this absolute beauty and it's going to allow you to create bunting with absolute ease just like Stacey did here uh, with another item that we've also got available Ooh. for you. Um, she's used our digital download stamps that we have created. Obviously they are um, sort of like JPEGs, so you can print them out as big or as small as you want to. Add them onto bunting, cut them out, make them really, really big so you can pop them in your window. The kids can colour them in. Um, they're gonna have so much fun getting excited for this occasion. Um, it is so, so, so good. So if you're going to get your um, stamps and you're gonna download, if you're gonna get your Union Jack stamp and you're gonna download our digital stamps, which include um, Camilla, Charles, and the King Charles Spaniel there as well with his crown on. You've got the beautiful um, chair there as well. And you've also got the most amazing skyline here as well, which is so, so fun um, to be able to have and colouring. We've got Long Live the King and you're invited to a coronation party as part of those stamps as well. But if you're going to get both of them, then you have to get our Ink Me Bunting. Oh, definitely. Because it means we don't have to cut it out, we don't have to work out the measurements, no. we don't have to find our hole punch, everything is included within here. They are a wonderful size as you can see. Um, Stacey used this to create her bunting so you um, if you saw that just a moment ago, you'll be able to see the sizing of them. They pop, pop out um, and it contains 192 bunting tags. So you have got 192 tags here. And not just for the coronation, but for Christmas, for birthdays, any sort of occasion you've got coming up, these are going to be absolutely perfect for. One thing that they work really well with though is are exploding boxes. Now we have a very, very limited stock of these exploding boxes. They have gone so exceptionally well. Um, we just cannot believe how much you guys love these. These are our um, Ink Me Exploding Boxes kit. You can get them for $8.99 and you're gonna be able to make five boxes within this. So you can use those stamps on here. Um, you can use um, other stamps that you've got in your kit. Maybe you're making them as memory boxes. Um, uh, for maybe a wedding or something like that, uh, birthdays, um, new babies, they're going to be so, so, so much fun. They are absolutely delightful. £8.99 if you want to get your hands on this. Now, Becca, you're going to try and use all of these elements that we've just gone through, aren't you? We are going to try, yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh my goodness. This is going to be such an exciting project. <clears throat> I have genuinely been so excited about this i've been kind of planning this all weekend what i want to do because i'm just 
really excited for it. So we've got all our pieces. I've done a little bit ahead of time, but hopefully I'll be showing off a bit of everything um, because just everything just works so well together. Okay, so let's get started. So in our Exploding Boxes kit, we get the um, sort of pre-scored kind of box frame elements sort of thing and um, that go on there you also get your mats and layers you get absolutely everything you need i love that as well that you get your mats and layers you get your mats and layers. Ones, because that's such yeah. that's something that can take such a long time to work out and you can create a lot of wastage as well I so already having so. them is, is really awesome pre-measured pre-scored um, on the panels absolutely I mean even if you're pretty comfortable with your mats and layers and you can measure out things pretty easily it's the time of chopping them over and yeah. over again isn't it so it's so so handy to have them right so we're going to start on the sort of outside walls of our box first of all I'm going to grab my score tool so that I can burnish as we go and have everything looking really nice and neat and proud because um, that's just going to be absolutely awesome. So we are going to just grab those as well. Okay, and then the next thing I'm going to do is grab my layer. And we're going straight in on these sides with our Union Jack stamp. So we're going to get our stamping press out. We're going to get those colours that it's suggested. And I'm just going to grab, grab my stamp set, she says. Where is it? I don't know. I definitely brought it in. I brought in loads today. Where is it? Actually, where is it? Uh, is it on the side? It might. It's under you. my. Oh, got it. She's got it. I bury things, guys. Okay, so we need this one first, and this is going to be our letterbox red one. Now I know these are squares and these stamps are rectangles, but I still think they're going to look really, really cool. I've had a little bit of a play around with them already, and they are absolutely awesome. So I'm just going to squeeze my magnets in the top and bottom um that's a good thing with it not taking up this whole entire square is that you can squeeze those in so i'm going to grab the lid of my stamping press just press that down double check that it's not moving with me should be all right awesome and then we're going to get those two colors i mean could there be any better colors than letterbox red and royal but they already sound like british they already, they're colors very regal aren't they very very, very regal so we're going to get both of those red. out yeah and we're going to start with our letterbox red because that's going to be our saint george's cross and the flag of northern ireland in here and then we're going to pop the scottish flag in last with our next layer so just a nice good coverage on there we can obviously always go back in with more it's a really nice bright color so i'm hoping that a nice good press on there should get that really nice and built up already so yeah see it's already done that looks so good so so good it's isn't like it instant as well not having to think about that not having to well i've tried to do british bunting before and getting the lines precise and straight and you know freehand yeah. it's really hard me and dan made some um during covid when we were celebrating oh, yeah. the day and it took forever it, to color them in it does doesn't it, it so was these such a long time are just an absolute piece of cake like they're so great and even you know imagine these in like you know switch out your colors and imagine doing them in like yes, pop art colors that would be so much fun every single union jack could be like a different color and there's so many different shades as well that you can oh, literally yeah. do like a really bright pink and then a lighter pink oh definitely oh, that would be so cool yeah do just try and experiment with your colors especially if yeah um you know you're having any of those kind of like maybe those little princess parties where you're going to want maybe like you say those pinks those oranges so I'm just lining up this one again it's just because it's a square I'm just getting those nice and evenly I know they are going to go off the page there um, but that should be absolutely fine so we're going to give that a good press I've also given all that red ink a good wipe so it's a little bit um and then I'm just going to lay that gorgeous royal blue it's so rich and vibrant honestly it's amazing so we're just going to lay that one on next and oh there we go oh just want goodness. a little bit more on that corner but yeah isn't it amazing i can't believe how quick that's come together already absolutely absolute piece of cake again this is one thing that you could be making over the coronation weekend like the holidays awesome 
so obviously if you wanted to cover up that white space let me just bring my other ones in um, you know you could do a few like dots and dashes on here whatever you want to do so we've got all those looking absolutely beautiful so let's lay those onto our box now um, and I think I'm just going to go in with in fact no I'm going to go in with double sided tape I was tempted by construction glue but I think I don't want to wait for everything. Okay. But yeah, it is I don't want to wait for everything time. to dry. Ah, yeah, when you've got like four different panels, you want to move on to the next step. Absolutely, you yeah. Just get, get going. Together. So I'm just going to pop tape on all of my layers and get those on, and then, like I say, we can absolutely move on. Um, oh, that's my little wonky one from this morning. I was like, no one will know, no one will see that, and I've forgotten that I've got to tape it down okay perfect so let's get these on okay so just sort of laying those out nice and centrally you get a gorgeous um nice white space there um obviously if you want to do your own mats and layers you can do them even tighter And then I'm just going to pop one on each of my sides. If you wanted it to be sort of like, you've got to be careful with some of your mats and layers, but if you wanted to add dimension as well, you could go in with our one mil foam pads. So oh, that's yeah. just going to give you that tiny bit of height on here. Yeah, definitely. Um, absolutely. I think that'd be a really good idea. Okay. And then we have got our lid as well, but we're probably going to come back to that at the end. I think I'm just really keen to just start popping this together. Okay, and the next layer that we've got is I've gone in with our Digi Stamps next. Now, this is just a template that I've got on Canva um, or Photoshop or whatever kind of app or, or thing you use. These are our free digital downloads. So what I've done is I've made, I always have a six by six open on Photoshop or Canva. So I've just kind of made this really funky background. And then obviously just to save any waste, I've done my characters on there as well. If you've got any of um, your electronic die cutting machines as well, like your Cricut, all of these images are going to work on there. Oh so yeah, you're you scan and cut. Yeah. You scan and cut, you can um, pop these on there. You'll be able to sort of create overlays so you can cut out your stamps as well instead of having to um, hand cut them. If you um, have the ability to be able to do that, it is a really um, fun thing that you have access to with all of those different programs. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I... I do, um, I don't have my Cricut, like, I don't really have a Cricut, like, um, me and my best friend sort of use it together, but it is hers, and I just literally had access to my printer, so absolutely, if you've got those. So many different ways in which you can use them, though. Oh, absolutely, definitely. Okay, so we're going to go in three and two notches, those mats and layers are. Um, so, oh, do you know, I might actually need another one, I don't think that's going to be... Yeah, it's going to be a little bit too short. Um, yeah, absolutely. It's just going to be be so much easier. And obviously, if I if I'd have known the mats were like three and two notches, I probably would have done. You could have made it bigger. Could have made my card blank bigger. Yeah, this is just a six by six. But like I say, that's just because I have that open all the time because it's the size that I most kind of commonly use. Um, but you could, but I'll probably use that on like card fronts and mm -hmm. panels and things. You could things. use it on the other panels that get smaller as well. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, 100%. Right. So we've got our long live the king. So we're going to just pop those to there. And again, we're going to go back in with our royal blue and just, just literally simply sponge those um, just to give them a little bit of colour. Just nice and gently, absolutely. Not even picked up any ink. This is just what was left. Crazy amount of ink on that. I know, it's really sponge. pigmented. I think I'm just going to like actually just go for it because otherwise it's just going to look a bit muddy. Okay. It's just again in that beautiful royal blue. Just a nice quick sponge. And then the last one. Cannot believe there's actually enough ink left on I there know, to do all four. All four of them. Okay, perfect. Right, lovely. Let me just get my hands a quick wipe. Awesome. Okay, so let's get those stuck on next. So they're just going to go on the inside of our exploding box. And again, we're just going to pop tape on all of those pieces. Okay. 
so just with three pieces just so it's nice and secure again you could be using your high tack tape if you wanted to absolutely no problem there's just so much fun to be had with these exploding boxes oh 100%. this is such a great way to do it as well i mean you could be making these up and then adding photographs to them oh, definitely. Um, so it's like a reminder of the weekend what you were up to and maybe the street parties you had or um, ways in which you were celebrating um, the coronation in your community absolutely and it's just such a these are just such a fun way to like memory keep in just a different way other than yeah. just scrapbooking. Something that you can have around as sort of like a, a thing in the house, isn't it? Like an ornament almost. Absolutely, yeah. A piece of home decor, isn't it? For sure. <clears throat> but yeah, these would be so good for like, yeah, party decorations, anything like that. Um, you know, maybe if you are grabbing that, um, that crown die, you know, those little like kind of princess or like Disney princess parties mm. that are so, so popular. You could be definitely teaming that up. Um, like kind of what Stacy did in the pink kind of theme. And then let's pop that one there. I'm very excited to go on to the next layer. So the next layer here that we have is just this one here. So we're going to stick that into the middle of our box. Um, but again, we're going to just do our mats and layers. And we're going to, again, use that wonderful Union Jack because you get little extras in here, which I love. I mean, these balloons, you're going to be using these time and time again for birthdays. Birthdays, absolutely. Um, you know, it's definitely worth getting, especially when it's... It, essential, really, that stamp there. Oh, set of birthday balloons. Absolutely. You can't go wrong. So we're going to go in with a little bit of memento so that we can get our alcohol markers out. Um, so I'm just going to give that a really nice good kind of lay. I've got this onto an acrylic block. You can obviously use a stamping press if that's what you prefer. And we're just going to just simply kind of pop them in and we're going to do two bunches to make my mat and lay look really nice and full looking. So I'm going to go back in with a nice good coat of memento and again just sort of going off the page to lay those up i'm going to color one and then i've got the rest done ahead of time she says okay so we're going to um finish our, so these are what I've, I've done the red and blue and i just need to color the white in there so balloons i actually really not struggle with that's not the right word but they have the very dimensional balloons, aren't they? They yeah, have that area that where the light hits. It, really. Yeah, so I'm going to go in with our... No, I'm not going in with that one. I'm going to go in with 532, our ivory colour. And I'm just going to use our sort of chisel tip to lay the colour down really well. First of all, because I've got to do all of these ones. And then just grabbing that bit here on my bunches here and then again on here in the middle balloons yeah so i'm quite glad i got ahead of time because i just kind of go in with the lightest color all over and then and obviously then you shade him yeah but it's nice to kind of leave that sort of hole like let me find a kind of good one where i've just left that like maybe this one where you've just left that hole in the center mm -hmm. to be like where the light would just hit it kind of naturally um so then i'm just going to go with my cool gray just to give that little kind of touch of shade in it's a bit dry so i'll just give that a nice good kind of thick press on there just going to add touches of dimension isn't it and really give you a three-dimensional look with yeah i think so what you've got here. just see if this one's a bit better this might be a little bit kind of warm looking but it might actually give it a, there we go that's a bit better just a really nice kind of thick kind of line on those balloons And then back in with my ivory again and just sort of concentrating that colour on that side. I'm going to switch to my little brush tip again and then you've just got that bit where that light's hitting that we're not going to add any more shading onto at all. And then when that dries down that is just going to look like that light kind of bouncing around on those balloons. 
Okay, so let's get those stuck down. Oh, these are just going to look so fun on here. Right, let's go in with our tape again. And again, just pop some on each layer. And you can get a little bit quicker with each layer because um, they get a little bit smaller. So mm -hmm. I only need two pieces on each. And then it's the little characters that I'm most excited for now. They're so cute. Okay, so one on each. Again, just the same technique over and over again. I know it is one of those bit of like a repetitive project, but it looks so good when it's finished. It looks incredible. And there's so many amazing um, examples of uh, the ex the Ink Me exploding boxes that we created here um, that the design team has done um, throughout. We've got a beautiful one. Um, that Barbara created for with her Rome for the day. We've got the beautiful um, new baby one that Kat did live on the show. Um, we've got your one that you did of your holiday. Yeah, absolutely. I did. That's going in the magazine as well because so, I absolutely loved it. There's so many different ways in which you can just use these exploding boxes and use all the elements that you get to create anything that you wish really absolutely it can be totally personalized and you can actually sell these i mean we've been i know i've been banging on about this ages but they're on etsy for really you know high they're prices expensive. they are expensive because they do obviously take that little bit of time and you can obviously sell those mm -hmm. um and, and like really personalize them so let's get our let's celebrate stamp and we're not going to mat and layer this one because it's a little bit too tight so we're just going to go in i'm going to keep with my memento just so that it's the same obviously you can use kind of versafine um if you want that like kind of yeah stronger if, you're not, finish. if you're not coloring this in then you can use versafine can't you yeah I mean, absolutely if you so were using gonna... your alcohol inks again you need to kind of keep it with your memento but absolutely no yeah i i just kind of like the finish a little bit better and then we've done that on each side again so just demos demoed one and then we'll bring this one in and again we're just going to add that into the center so i'm going to push my walls up again on this exploding box and then this is the final final layer so it's just the center that we need to kind of concentrate so on after that fun. they are aren't they they just look so good and i think with a coronation theme you've got your color palette decided you know you can just go with that red white and blue kind of theme and it's just going to look so so good and as well like you can get away with leaving a lot more white space because yep. again it's in the color palette um so i've switched to my high tack tape for this so that it's got that really nice good hold in the middle And then just our final little characters and the lid to do after that. So that's going in the center just like so. Just gonna kind of line that up, pop everything back up. Oh, it looks so good with those Union Jack on the outside. On the outside, doesn't it? So then we've got our little characters next. And again, I've just done a little bit ahead of time. So we're just gonna sort of finish off. So we've got my throne, I've got Charles there, and I've got our little Cavalier there as well. So we're just gonna finish um by coloring camilla in so i'm going to start um just with her like face and hands first of all so again i'm using those colors that i've had before so the 532 um just on the nice sort of brush kind of thin one there as well and then i'm just going to go in with the next color up which is our 550 our oatmeal color again just to give that kind of shading and then again just to give her a little bit more color we're going to go in with the next color which is our 515 and again that'll add that more so that kind of like richer skin tone there as well to their kind of faces it's always so um important to sort of build up when you're coloring with your alcohol markers because you can always sort of add elements but we can't take it away so if you start off with your lighter colors and then build up to the color that you're happy with it's yeah. always the best way to do it with these absolutely it really really is and then she's kind of got like gray blonde hair so i'm going to go in with the the cool uh, the warm sorry gray so that it's still got that little bit of blonde in there and then let's go in with some more colors i think i've got my purples here so i'm going to just go in with those and i will give her like a nice cute little lilac outfit so we'll go with the 484 and then the 559 for this as well 
So the 484s are peerless colour, so we'll just colour in her little her little suit jacket there. I wonder what colour she will wear. I know. Is, it, is there like a rule that you have to wear certain colours? I'm not sure about this. I don't know. And then I've just done Charles in his like kind of military oh, yeah. colours. Yeah, red, white and blue and yellow. I don't know. I I do wonder actually whether they will kind of like wear. And obviously they'll be... Um, I'm you know, sure. Like, I mean, I remember so many times where we've watched things about the Queen and you see that gorgeous coronation dress she wore oh it's beautiful the, isn't it it's like a wedding dress sort of like beaded detail with the the nation sort of included on all of it so may, who knows maybe she's got maybe she's got a spectacular dress maybe i cannot wait to see it though i can't actually no it's going to be very very exciting the queen's coronation dress i've actually seen that at kensington palace it is beautiful it is phenomenal um, it's very very beautiful so I'm just going to colour in our little I'm going to just do a little yellow flower just on here and then I just need to finish the the shoes of my little characters and then that's all our colouring done and we can just get this all finished okay and then I kind of want like a richer purple for that crown so I think I'm going to go in with Let's go in with that sort of thistle and then we can build that up to that kind of violet colour. Just that really nice kind of rich purple. So at the minute it looks a little bit lilac-y and then I'm hoping to kind of build that up with our mauve colour. Because I think the crown is purple on the inside, it is. isn't it? Like the fabric. Yeah, Kat did, um, Kat did a great demonstration using the, um, the crown dye. Oh really? Um, cutting it out of glitter card oh, and all wow. sorts. It was spectacular. Oh I can imagine. Oh she's ace isn't she? So let's get all our characters just cut out. We're going to fussy cut these and we've got our little doggy as well and our little throne. So we've got Charles and Camilla there and then we've got our little dog. So I'm going to try and leave a little bit of white space on here but give them a really nice good base. You get everything included in these Ink Me um, Ink Me sets as well. So you get the full um, three bases, your mats and layers. You also get your acetate to you be do. able to make your um, elements sort of stand out. Um, you get the, um, if you don't want to sort of use stamps in this way that Becca's doing it, you also get the butterflies and yeah. the star detail, um, all die cut from Ink Me, so you can colour those in if you wish to as well. There, it's an absolutely incredible set, but it just works so well with these fantastic um, stamps that we've got on offer for you guys. I think so, definitely. Yeah, you, you get everything, don't you, that you need in here. You know, this is just some of the pieces and we've shown off kind of all, all the things that you can grab from your stash or from our website to just sort of build up your own characters and your own sort of like really, really fun themes. I just think you can just do them in any theme, like you say, whether it's wedding, new baby, um, holiday memories, coronation, events, absolutely anything. So I'm just gonna fussy cut that one out now. And then that's kind of all our characters. I'm just gonna give my dog his little crown. Do you remember when, um when sort of like time capsules were really sort of like oh yeah thing. you could make little time capsules with these and sort of like um each layer could be like a year or um sort of like a a season and then you could fill it all out and add lots of elements in that would be really cool how and then cute sort of would keep that it be to come back and look at oh you could definitely do one yeah you could do like a picture for like every month of the year um okay so let's get these in place so I'm just going to kind of just bend my strips of acetate and then we're just going to pop those down with some tape. So I'm just going in with some red tape again and then I think I'm going to add my characters with the tape as well. So a little bit, um, a little bit of tape on there and a little bit of tape on the top as well. Okay. But they are they are absolutely useful. I I love these. And then and then I think we're going to revisit our floral archway, aren't we, for the last part of the show? We are. We're going to have another look at that incredible new concept card. I can't wait. I'm very excited. I love them. I I just think it's definitely um, 
you know obviously we only did the festive ones so if you want that kind of archway all year round this is just it's such a great kind of kit to grab isn't it yeah we've got those florals which are perfect for any occasion yeah definitely so when i pop her on there oh my gosh that's looking so good already um so i'm just going to keep just basically kind of repetitive just going to do the same again just with my red high tack tape and then it always looks funny when you're working with acetate because sometimes you just cannot see it i know absolutely and your hands are just going everywhere i know it's a bit of a pain right then we'll get our little doggy on next and there is a lot of room like you can fit a lot in here um glue dots would also work really really well for these because again you get that really nice grab with those okay just struggling to get my backing off on here let me see if i can try and switch to our glue dots because then that that backing's just not going to be a bit a bit less of an issue That's better. So, so fun with all the little elements on that you've got there though. I think they're cute, aren't they? They're really, really cute. Um, definitely, and you could, you could definitely just use, uh, oh my gosh, these are looking so cute already. And then we've got a little throne. So I've done that one a little bit shorter to go at the front. Um, and then I look kind of like the longer ones at the back where you can kind of see them. So again, I'm just going in with that glue dot um, just because I was just kind of struggling with my red tape. We're going to get our throne on there as well. And again, I'm just going to pop these on with some glue dots just to save a little bit of time. You know that it's going to hold really, really strong with that glue dot, they, so you're not going to have any issues with that. They have a better hold than what you think, don't they? They really, really do. And I just thought, flipping heck, I'm faffing around with that back in now. It's uh, driving me nuts. So let's switch over to our glue dots. You can kind of tuck in any little overhang there. And then we'll have King Charles at the front with his throne. Looking awesome, looking super dapper. And then we just need to pop our lid on. So we'll pop him on there, tuck in those little glue dots. And then I think I should have my box lid somewhere in here. I did put it at the front. Ah, here it is. You get so much included in this. Though. Oh, you absolutely do. It's an absolute ginormous like it's pack of massive goodies. Massive when you get this home and everything that you get included in it. I know, I know. It really is, isn't it? So again, I'm just going to use glue dots just for a little bit of speed. Like I would definitely use high tack tape. Um, but yeah, we're just going to just pop those on just super super quickly because I think I'm just going to pop the crown on the front, you know, and and leave it be at that. Obviously, you can do so much more at home with like say a whole like i genuinely could have spent all weekend on this yeah um because you can just have so much you can fun do and just so many different layers you can do sort of like different scenes if you wanted to with the characters that you've got as well yeah definitely um oh that looks so good in like a little like coronation scene you could do like a little palace or or in front of that london skyline that yeah, you've got yeah you've got that gorgeous skyline included as well in those stamps okay so i'm just tucking all my tabs in that already scored and i've even got the little wedge that we normally cut into ourselves so that your tabs sit really really nice i love that such a nice touch always try and think of absolutely everything that is recommended or needed for these projects oh 100 percent right so we're going to pop that on well, let's get a little foam pad for that um because we can always pop some gemstones on there as well some nice little um, red or blue ones. Can we cut this out from our sticker balls, Miri? Layering it up, oh, cutting it out. The greatest thing about our dies is the ability to cut into them. It's very easy to, to cut out different layers if you're wanting to add different colour elements. Oh, and like paper piece. Yeah, yeah definitely. 
So I've just gone in with our plain white that I had left from one of our mats and layers that we didn't end up using. So I'm just going to pop that nice and centrally on our box. I'm going to have a little bit of gemstones just to add some colour. Must have some nice royal blue ones in here. Yes, we do. Awesome. So I'm just going to kind of scatter those around. Um, you can do that flat if you want to. And then it'd look so nice with maybe the date on of the coronation. Um, just going to kind of just scatter some of these just around. Not in any sort of particular order. It's just so fun that you can do so many different things with these. Yeah, again, I probably would have wanted to decorate that a bit more, but just in the interest of time, because I want to get this all shown off now. So let's pop everything up. Give it, and again, you can kind of give it a good crease and shape it a little bit yeah. more. Everything's nice and strong, so you can definitely do that. And again, let's get all our little characters up. So let's close our box. Pop our lid on. Oh, it's just getting stuck there. Sorry, one sec. Tuck everything in. Perfect. So that's all our box. We've got all those Union Jacks. We've got all of those crowns and all those little blue gemstones. And then you open it up and then it's just going to be the most wonderful... Uh, sorry, it's just my glue dot there. And it's just going to be the most wonderful little pop-up, isn't it? With all those characters and those balloons. It looks so, so fun. I love it. It's gonna, you're going to have, honestly, the best time with these stamps, these dies, um, and those Ink Me items that we have for you on the show. Um, okay, let's repeat our Winnick Weekly question. Um, this week, four lucky winners are going to be with the chance of the On The Move collection. It's an absolute whopper. You're going to be able to make 24 decolage sets in total. Um, if you'd like to win this, then you need to like, share and comment. Um, which country has the most islands in the world? Is it A, Japan, B, the Maldives or C, Sweden? Um, now, we do have um on our website these exploding box projects you can get the ink me versions but you can also individually buy the incredible um designed ones that the the team did so there's three different choices for you we have the beautiful florals we have the celebration party box and we have the butterflies as well so the three different boxes that you can get individually on the website and um, they're five pound 99 each and you can make one box here you've got everything <coughs> included all of those mats and layers all of it double-sided and designed perfectly you've got your instructions as well included for how you make them up um but absolutely fantastic um exploding box projects that are available right now on the website five pound 99 if you'd like to get these versions that are already decorated for you and they look absolutely stunning we can have a look at a few of those there this one um reads happy birthday so you also get the bows included you get the decorative ribbons as well this one's been made up a little bit differently because that box has been added and um, been put together and added to the top of the box to sit really really nicely and then you've got those other added elements on there as well um, we've got your with love one here and you can just open that out and it's got the beauty it's got 16 cut out um, with that gorgeous happy birthday within there as well so much detailing within these they are just fantastic and then the final one here um rachel went a little bit crazy with this one and cut out all of the central details to add acetate panels to every single element wow. on here um, but look at how those butterflies are just so risen and just gorgeous on that box and it gives it such a, a beautiful look with the acetate the whole way around um, in all of those details so if you want to get your hands on them you absolutely can do that is our um that is our it's not our most recent anymore that is our second to last concept card kit that we launched yeah, for you because this today is our new one we have launched our brand new one it is our floral archways collection you're going to have the chance to be able to make 12 of these stunning arches um, you've got everything that you need. You've got your instructions included. We've got our envelopes for you. You've got four designs of which you're going to get three of. So we have your um, your blushing blooms for you in that beautiful pink. In your purples, we've got the purple posy, all foiled and die cut across here. Gorgeous sentiments throughout as well. Your blue boss blossom and your peachy um, petals you've got there as well. 
Then we're gonna give you the acetate that you need to be able to make all of those central panels. Um, and when you make these up, they are just absolutely delightful. We have the beautiful blue one here with all of that phenomenal detail. Depending on where you put your decoupage, depending on where you lay your sentiments, these can look different every single time. You can also do some really fun elements with this one. Um, look at that one. Oh, so much detail within here absolutely gorgeous designs throughout um, and we're going to go back over to Becca because she's going to show us another way of being able to use these as well. Yeah absolutely I actually found this one a bit of a challenge but I think it's just because I love them made up as they are but we always throw a little challenge when we do our concept card shows and that's to make a like more quirky or alternative project and we're just going to go with uh, you know if in doubt a trusty old easel okay um because we absolutely love an easel 100%. card don't we so we have got our um front panel there we've got our acetate and we've got our little decoupage elements as well we're going to have a look at the sentiments and things as well at the end i've got a six by four card blank because we're just going to make it a really nice cute little easel there i've just chopped that up it is in the tent fold position so i've just chopped that up from a um, six by six card blank so we're going to kind of score that in half to create our easel we're going to work on the card blank first and then we can kind of chop everything up afterwards so i'm going to just grab my score tool open my card out and score at three this should be a nice quick one to finish the show um so we're going to just pop that along there give that a little burnish and then we're going to just chop into that a little bit further but just so that we know kind of what length and size we want we're going to just line up my arch there and just trim off those little panels and we're going to use them so we're going to pop them to one side we can't let all that beautiful foiling and design go to waste so we are just going to pop those to that side um, i'm hoping to use one of those for my stopper actually so that should be a really good good plan so next what we're going to do is i'm just going to lay my arch on there and obviously as you can see my card front is bigger so i am going to trim off that overhang if you want to you can just decorate that as a panel yeah and then you don't need to chop into it but we're going to just be a little bit fancier and we're just going to trim out a little bit and again with a six by four card blank squeeze everything under the trimmer as well which is what i absolutely love about cards that are a little bit smaller in stature so i'm just going to just go to my pencil line go slightly over and then cut all the way up to the main score line which is like halfway um, into the card so i'm going to do the same on this side so i've got my pencil line which i'm just going to give myself a little bit of extra room and then again trim to that score line and stop i'm going to trim out my little panels off with my scissors again you can go into your trimmer if you want to but i find it just as easy to just snip those off and then we've got our perfect size for that arch and we've got that gorgeous little panel that you can kind of see there as well okay so that's going to sit there beautifully it in the center so good. it's going to look so great isn't it but we're all, gonna... that, all that foil detail as well it's just lovely it's absolutely divine isn't it so we're going to pop this out we're going to bring our acetate back in because i do want it on the acetate um but again the final thing we're going to do is i'm just going to line up this on my card and again i'm just going to draw around here and fussy cut this little bit out um so i think i've got one that I've just done ahead of time again we'll just go a little bit speedier so all I've done is I've drawn around that and I've got a craft knife to cut out this little window in there so that's all kind of ready to go our arch is going to sit perfectly on there and we're going to just pop that on we're going to get some acetate so I'm going in with the one that's already been done for me mm -hmm, why not um, the just, is there all we've got to do is trim those sides yep absolutely obviously if you don't want to use these and you want to use them for another project you can do but i'm just going to save myself the time i'm only going to put tape on half of my arch because again we're going in with this nice red tape nice and strong and again i don't really want any unsightly tape at the top where it's going to hang over my um easel so i'm just going to pop that on with some tape we're going to save the middle frame for another project on this occasion um, and then i'm just going to stick that just onto the top of my arch and then like i say trim off any kind of overhang perfect so 
let's kind of trim off those sides now and just got a little bit of hair that I just need to snip off perfect and then again that's going to go on there beautifully and we're going to get our little topper so let's get that now just gently place that out of the frame and build up the pyramage onto that so i'm going to get my two pieces that i'm just going to move that acetate out the way as well and then let's see if i've still got them those little strips that we had before because they're absolutely wonderful and again i'm just going to grab my squares as well they're behaving much better for this demo there we go you want them to be tacky though you do, yeah, you don't want them, upset. yeah, absolutely, you don't want a foam pad that doesn't stick, that is so, so true. And then lining those up. This one's so easy because you've got those stems of the bouquet at the bottom. Um, and then <clears throat> my strips here. So I'm just going to pop that back on there. And then that just goes just like so in the middle. I absolutely just love that. It's just so thought, it's just so, so thoughtful. So I'm just going to um, pop that on again. I can probably go straight onto my card blank now with this piece. And then we can build up, um, you know, like the kind of central piece of my card. So again, just gently round here. And then I know that all my tape's going to be hidden by that beautiful arch. There's so many amazing things that you can do with these. I mean, making sort of like little tri-panel cards by sticking two of those arches together. That yes. looks really, really nice as well because you do get multiples, so you can do that if you want to. Especially in all the different colours as yeah. well. So what we're we looking at there, we're about three and a quarter on there, so that's perfect. So we'll just do a little mirror mat on there. yeah absolutely um so i've got some silver mirror for that one i'm just going to see if i have it's a little bit awkward to measure that yeah that actually does fit perfectly in there and then i was a bit like well i am gonna have to bring in my stash so i hope nobody minds but i've gone with something that is available and is quite recent um club gift little wings oh yeah how perfect is that side Ooh like it's genuinely again um, like the, they weren't meant to go together no, but i'm putting them together that really works if you've got this in your stash i bet a lot of the other colors will work as well because that they'll have there'll be a pink sort of cloud design yeah there is to pull. Um, there's a nice soft green and i know we haven't done a specific green one but again those leaves mm, and things they those definitely details come together yeah 100 percent. so i'm just going to make a miri mat for the bottom of my card so that's four by six with some silver i absolutely love that we've got the mix of foilings in here um so that's our mirror mat for that and then oh yeah we just need a little one for our back so again so we're going to go three and two notches by two under the three on there and then that's our paneling done so again let's grab my double-sided tape for this and get that on obviously if you wanted to use the busier side you absolutely could because mm. the blooms are kind of similar i just absolutely loved picking out that kind of block um kind of bluey purple it's almost kind of like a periwinkle color um on that spongy side but yeah it's absolutely still Such available it is isn't it and especially if like if you're picking up the club gift bundle you're going to get these papers in um so you're going to have them already probably um, and again, let's just do this last little mat and layer. Perfect. So just that one onto there. Nice and snug. And again, we'll get that sat onto our card. Pop 
that so one. quick to put together as well isn't it i think so a nice little easel and like i say you could um, you don't even have to do that little bit of snipping if you don't want to it would look so great just on a kind of a regular panel okay perfect then let's put this one on here now obviously if you want to hide your workings you could just draw around that and pop that on yeah. um and that would be so easy because it's a nice simple shape to cut that out of so we're just going to pop our foam pads on here just going to go with two kind of like large rectangular ones just to pop that into place you still got so much that you can dress this up with as well because you've got those panels got, that you remove yeah we've got these panels we've obviously got those four times we've got our button topper there as well um so i'm just going to trim <clears throat> our panel and i think i'm going to go with this one just to again just give that that little bit more kind of a design feature and chop that oh that's gonna look so great there let's go with that and then let's go with happy birthday and bring in those daisies again and then we're gonna put that on there and finish it this is gonna look really fun i think so i like i say i really wasn't sure what to do with these and actually i'm really glad that i have decided to do this project with this because it's come together really really nicely lots um, of people have been absolutely like myself i've just been staring at the screen watching becca create all of these aww. things today it's been so much fun um especially the pop-up box i absolutely love that i'm definitely i'm definitely going to take it home spend even more time on it polishing it up and that's going to go in my that is definitely going to go in my window for the coronation and then pop that on there and that should be our stopper nice and rested into place gonna go in with <clears throat> some more foam pad strips on here on there what a lovely way to celebrate your birthday i think so receiving one of these gorgeous floral archway concept card kits and they are so so handy and easy to put together you are gonna absolutely love crafting with these whether you're doing it with the kids whether you're doing it as part of a group whether you're making them to sell them because you absolutely can do yeah you can have so much fun with this one and that's what we said last time isn't it with the christmas ones if you're making to sell how eye catching are they going to be these are not like any other cards that your customers will have seen um especially if you are you know kind of new to uh, selling or anything like that just grab these you can absolutely make them in minutes and then they're ready to go ready to be put on for sale and they look so good right let's get this card shown off i've added three little silver gemstones and then that's our wonderful kind of easel i've still kind of echoed that window effect that you get with the classic concept card but just popping all those extra elements out such a clever way of using all of those bits and pieces you've got to do something different with them as well and it's I always so. i think it's always nice to see that you can just make things different to what what you get Absolutely. and the way that the instructions show it um it makes it a lot more fun and you know that it's going to last you a really long time i think all so. those different ideas to do um okay that's it for us today um uh, we have um some news about hobby maker so tune in tomorrow and marie's back from her holiday um she's going to be there at three um six and seven o'clock i think um with a brand new floral dreams collection which you are going to absolutely love so make sure you're tuned in to watch that one she also has another show um with some absolutely incredible 10 pound deal offers so don't miss that one at six o'clock and then we're both back here tomorrow for a back in stock show i know how exciting it's going to be really fun there's going to be stuff on there that you've been waiting for for such a long time so don't miss out join us tomorrow morning for another um fun filled show